How do you multiply fractions by whole numbers using repeated addition? In today's lesson, you will learn how to multiply fractions by whole numbers using repeated addition. Let's review. You already know that if we were to have multiplication of whole numbers, we can use repeated addition. So for example, if I had 4 times 6, that's basically saying I'm taking 4 groups of 6, and I can represent that as 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus another 6 is going to be 18, plus another 6 is going to be 24. So 4 times 6, or 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, equals 24. It's going to be the same with fractions. Now let's look at this problem. Mr. Good gave one-third of a cupcake to each of his eight students. How many cupcakes did Mr. Good give out? First thing, I know this is going to be multiplication because I'm taking, I have one-third of a cupcake, and I'm giving it to each of Mr. Good's eight students. So I'm basically taking an equal group, equal number of an object, one-third, and multiplying it by eight. So if I were to represent this as an equation, I would get eight for eight students times one-third for one-third of a cupcake. Or I could say one-third of a cupcake times eight students. So again, this is multiplication because we are giving out eight of the same amount of cupcakes. Another way of looking at this is that we're taking one-third and adding it eight times. So that would be one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third. That's four one-thirds. So about halfway there. There's five. There's six. There's seven. And there is eight. Okay. So now we have one, let's use a different color here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight one-third cupcakes to give out total. So the last thing we do after we've represented our multiplication equation as a repeated addition is that we know oops, come back there we go we know that if we were to add or subtract fractions we have to make sure the denominator is the same so here all the denominators are three so all we have to do is add the numerators so one plus 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 one, plus one or one plus 1, 8 times. It's going to give us 8, and then our denominator is going to stay at 3. So Mr. Good can give out 8 thirds of a cupcake. Let's change this into a, from an improper fraction into a mixed number. Three goes into eight twice. Three times two is six. We're left with two, remainder two. So our final answer as a mixed number is two and two thirds cupcakes. So for eight students total, Mr. G Mr. Good gives out two and two thirds cupcakes. Now it's your turn. At this point in time, you can feel free to pause the video and solve for yourself and resume the video once you uh, want to check your answers. Remember that we're looking at this problem 
and want to represent this as a repeated addition problem. All right, let's check this. The problem says that a cookie recipe calls for 3 quarters cup of sugar. How much sugar, sugar should I use if I want to make five batches of cookies? First thing I want to do is represent this as a multiplication problem. The two things I have here are three cups of sugars and five batches of cookies. So that would be 3 quarters of a cup per batch times five batches gives me the equation 3 fourths times 5. Now let's represent this as an, a repeated addition problem. So we're basically taking 3 fourths and adding it together 5 times. That becomes 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. equals, I'm going to keep my numerator, or keep my denominator of 4 the same, and then add these 3's together. So that becomes 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to give us 15. So as an improper fraction, we have 15 fourths cup of sugar. Last thing you want to do, Last thing you want to do is change 15 fourths from an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So we'll use long division. 15 inside. So 15 divided by 4. 4 goes into 15 3 times because 4 times 3 is 12. Take the difference here. 15 minus 12 is 3. Our remainder is 3. Our old denominator is 4. So for 5 batches of cookies, I'm going to use 3 and 3 fourths cup of sugar. In this lesson, you learned how to use repeated addition to multiply fractions by whole numbers.